Hey guys, my name is Kristen and I am a mechanical engineering student and I wanted to get on here and tell you guys about some tricks I've used to study online. And winter term is right around the corner and I know I'm still online. I don't know about you guys, but I have some input and I know it's hard, you know, it's really hard to learn online and, but I know we can do it and I encourage you and we'll make it through this. We will. So one of the first things I have is a planner. I plan out my study times in the morning. I plan out when I'm going to work. I plan out my meals, when I'm going to exercise, when I have downtime. And I stick to those plans. I stick to those studying plans because if you don't study every day or if you don't study, you know, I don't know, five days a week, six days a week, then you're going to fall behind. And when you get to those test times, you're not going to do very good. We're not in person. We're not talking every day with other students. We're not re-evaluating that information every day with and talking about it, which also helps you remember it. And we're just not doing that now. So we have to be strict on how we study and we have to stick to it. That's about how it goes <laughs> so get a planner write it down and stick with it and then also another thing is YouTube I watched a lot of YouTube videos last term about my material and I'm going to try to start posting a few YouTube videos about material I learned in class and hopefully it helps you guys I know a couple of my classes had very bad lectures and so a lot of the ways I've learned is YouTube. A lot of the ways I've found the information I need was from watching YouTube videos like the Khan Academy or the Organic Chemistry Tutor. And that's just how it's going to be online for a little bit. You know, teachers are still learning how to make YouTube videos. These teachers, they didn't sign up for online school. Otherwise, they would have done it before. I mean, they're used to teaching in person. So this is just as much as a learning curve as it is is for us. Same with tutoring. I've had some terrible tutoring sessions to where they couldn't even answer the question that I was asking. And it's just, they're not in person. They're not looking at you do your work. They're not following along with your thinking process because you're talking like I'm talking to you. They see you like this. And, or maybe some of them have sharing screen, one note capabilities, but some of them don't and it's hard it's hard for them too and so we're all in this together and we're all learning a certain way um so be patient that's another thing don't get frustrated i know when i get frustrated i usually do worse when i'm doing math or science because my mindset is in a good place and so i end up getting answers wrong like i'll miss a negative sign or i'll miss something very simple like just a variable or a number, you know? And so try to stay positive and stay calm and work slowly through it. And, you know, I know I've had some pretty bad labs to where the teacher put us into sub categories of teams and someone would pull up the video and just leave and walk away. So you're stuck doing the whole lab by yourself or you're stuck in study groups, but no one's talking to you back. And that's what's pretty disappointing actually is, you know, people that don't participate because you kind of need another student's feedback sometimes. It's really nice to have. And when people aren't participating, it's, it gets hard. So, you know, I, just stay patient and it'll all get better and hopefully with some of the videos I post and some of the other YouTubers out there that maybe you could get some information from them and really utilize that information. I I know I have so hopefully you guys can too. Um, yeah so please just participate and you know, show up to your teachers office hours. I know I've talked to a few of my teachers that I had a year ago when classes were in person and students don't want to go to their office hours. They feel awkward or they feel like they're asking too many questions or they feel like a bother. That is not true. Your teachers do want to help you. Your teachers want to help you learn because 
they are a teacher for a reason. They wanted to teach and so they want you guys to learn. They want you guys to get your engineering degree or your science degree or whatever degree you're in, English, art, it doesn't matter. Your teacher's there to teach you. So be patient with them and ask them all the questions you can and they'll try to help you the best they can. Um, but I hope you guys stay on track and I hope you make it through this winter term. And you know, thank you for watching this video and have a good day.